Hello everyone, welcome back to our coding letter for tutorials. In this session, we are going to discuss about database configuration. So in coding letter 4, we can configure database in two ways. One is by using database.php and one more by using .env file. We are going to discuss both the ways, but in this session, I will explain you how to configure database connection with the database.php and how to configure multiple databases in database.php and how can we load them into our controller also we are going to discuss. If you want to work with database.php, we have to open the file from the following location app config database.php in this file we have a class a database class which contain a default array with some group of settings we have to change them to work with the database guys let us go and let us open the file database.php let us have some settings inside of it so go to our editor and in the config folder we have a file called database.php let me open the file this is a database.php and we have a database class and you have to find a default group of array this is a group of array and associated array contain some group of settings here so uh, no need to worry just you, you can go through the manual of our coding editor try to read all the properties and all and try to understand them what is the each and every property they explain you very clearly right now for the configuration we don't want to go for more guys here database username we know that by default database username is going to be root and database in local server we don't have any password for the database and but we can create database right let me create a database called ci4 but i didn't create this database i think let me go to my browser and let me create one database here let me go and let me create quickly the database name is going to be ci4 i'm going to create a database name ci4 uh, here in the left side you can select the collation so i'm going to select this utf8 general ci4 so go there UTF-8 is nothing but guys, it can support almost all multilingual, almost all languages it can support. So I'm going to select this. You can store any type of language in this database that can be stored properly. If you can go, uh, we have some Indian languages. We can take all the Indian languages. They can be stored in database perfectly. But if you're storing some other, maybe some problems while reading data from database, right? Database is created. Database is ready. But do we have any data here? I don't have any tables, right? Let me do one thing. So let us go to any of the database. Let me select one table. So here I have a table. Let us download this. Let us import into it, guys. Export. I think I have already, uh, let me quickly upload it, go to CI4 and uh, import in my downloads. I think I have already a database file is there, I believe. Let us go to my downloads. Here users.sql, yeah, let me upload this file guys here. Yes, file is going to be uploaded. We have some records, right? Now we have to show you how can we load the database into your controller, right? So later. <clears throat> wait for some time i will show you how can we configure multiple databases also right now go to your controller and if you have any controller you can use it otherwise you can create a new controller no problem now i am going to create a controller called users controller let us go and create a file called users.php yeah so with the namespace right we know that each and every controller should actions with code igniter slash controller right this is the thing otherwise we can use the namespace also by using right so now this is our class now let us create index method here public function index yes so database is configured once database is configured we have to load it right so let me take a variable dollar db equal to so it was available in config so you can go to config slash database so in this database uh, library, we have a method called connect method. So just I'm not passing any parameter to this connect method. Later I will show you what are the parameters we have to pass to this connect method. Initially nothing was there uh, to the connect method. So when we are connecting with multiple databases, then we can pass the name of group name here, right? Right now not required. We are going to work with only one database, right? Yes. So by doing this database configuration is completed. If you want, you can print this also. You will get some output in the screen, guys. So now if you can go and check it, DB, just I'm going to print this and let us go to the browser and let me run the file. <coughs> Here, 
my controller name is users right so if i call this automatically index method is going to be fired and we have to see if it is connected and we can see a kind of an array guys here anyhow we are connected to db let me execute a small query to get the data from users table right <coughs> The same guys, whatever the queries we have in uh, CIE 3, the methods, whatever the methods in the active record class, the same methods we can use here. Well, a DB of, this is going to be query. We have a method called query. And let us write a method, select store from, or select username, email, and mobile from <coughs> users table. This is our query, done. Now we have to get the data. Anyhow, this is the select query. It is going to fetch all the records. Let me keep the data into uh, a variable, dollar query or anything you can take. Now we have to fetch the result, right? To fetch the results, we have some other method. I'm going to uh, show you one method, get result. Get result array, get result object. We have a lot of methods are there, don't worry. This is going to be result equal to, we will explain you all the methods of DB later. Q U E R Y query of get R U S U L T result. This is the method we have. So now we can iterate the data. So now you can just print this. So I just want to print for the confirmation whether I have the records or not. Dollar R U S U L T result and just execute it and let me show you whether we have records or not can you see i have all the records with the username information if you want you can use the pre tag also because it is an array right so for better preview record by record so now i'm using just a pre tag so now can you see your records will be like this first record second record for each and every record i'm getting only three fields like this you are getting all the records we know how can we iterate the data so just wait for some time so we will show you later in the session how can we get the data how can we iterate the data by using models and how can we pass the data to view via controller that's also we are going to show you just i'm showing you whether it is connected or not that's the only thing so presentation is will be later in the session we are going to show you guys don't worry about it right now this is how we can load database con connection into our controller. Now I want to show you how can we load multiple databases if situation required. So nothing guys here, the same group of array, whatever the array we have, you can copy this and you can paste this. This is nothing but multiple database connection. If you want to work with one more database, some other database or whatever it may be. So then we can come down and we can keep this array guys. Just I'm copying and pasting the array and change the database name so if you are working with oracle or if you are working with some other database yes you can pause them but now i have only mysql installed with me with my machine this i want to go with 9am i have one more database called 9am database and this is one but this should be changed this is not default this is uh, i am taking this as a second db such a manner i am taking if you want you can use any name here no problem so now how can we load this into your controller in this situation so we have the same method nothing difference is there but here we have to take this as the group name here as a parameter that's it this is the parameter and this is going to be db1 i am taking this uh, let us take this db1 and db2 such a manner so this is db1 of query now i want to write one more query guys can you please check it so i am going to write one more query here so to get the data from 9am database so i don't know what are the tables available in 9am database can we go and quickly check it so this is my database here we have somewhere 9am yeah this is 9am database is there let me show you here we have some students table and we have some register table okay let me get the data from register table here we have eight records almost all yeah so let me get the data same information i want to get from this also right let us go and execute this guys dollar db2 of q u e r y query so we know that select start from select username email comma mobile i think so these fields are available in this table from your table called register this register table is not available in your news database ci database ci4 sorry so now this is available in our 9am database let us write the query Q U E R Y query one equal to dollar D B two of sorry we have to get the result right so we have to get the result let me take this as a a variable sorry dollar Q U E R Y query two equal to 
from this query two we have to get the result right result two equal to you can take any variables no problem for for the namesake i am going to like this query two of get result is a method right that's it now you can get the data and you can print it so you will understand how this is going to be printed guys yes guys let me print this result two so that we will understand print underscore or of result two yes i think so if, if we can print it so we can see the data of the second one also and go and refresh it now this is the first table data now i'm just refreshing so if we can go to the bottom of it so we can find one more array where is this is this is going to be one more array so this is second database and this is the first database in the first database we have 10 records in the second database we have almost all eight records are there this is how we are we are going to connect it to multiple databases by using database.php configuration file guys in the next session we are going to discuss about how to configure database connection by using env file thank you guys if you have any doubts please comment under the video section and don't forget please subscribe our gophp channel thank you all